All right, today I did some muscle ups, and for the first time in a while, I got a couple sets of five. Basically, the f since I've been heavy into the Wendler uh, lifting thing, I noticed my muscle ups have come down a little bit. But today, I was able to get some sets of five for the first time since I think last September. And uh, here's how I break down Wendler. If you notice, Tuesday I'm just doing upper body, no weights you know, whatever, some gymnastic type stuff, just some different stuff to get my body doing something a little different. But I start the Wendler on uh, Sunday. Sunday I do uh, press and I do squat and I do some kind of pull, usually pull-ups, rows. Uh, Monday I do deadlift and I do some kind of squat, mainly lower body. I, I consider the deadlift a lower body exercise, although the way I do it is probably more of an upper body exercise. Tuesday, I'm doing this kind of stuff. Wednesday, uh, I used to do Olympic lifting, so I just do some Olympic lifting type movements and a few sets of squats. Thursday, I take off. Friday, I come back, and that's Wendler squats and Wendler bench press. And I'm usually working on it with a with an exercise, somebody I train that day, so we're doing squats and bench, and we usually do like a barbell row. And moving on here to some dips. And dips on the rings are not easy. A little more shaking going on there. And uh, it comes back to conditioning and, and adding some conditioning to your workouts. And one thing I have gotten in my older age is in better condition. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm catching up strength-wise. But one thing I wasn't doing when I was younger was a lot of conditioning. I just go to the gym and work out with weights and then walk on the treadmill for about 15 minutes. So I used to do the Stairmaster, and that was like my conditioning. Now, conditioning can be a bunch of different stuff. It could be just outright cardio and going out and running three or five miles, or it could be like what I'm doing here. I just make a drill, do it for, you know, this took me 20 seconds. You can see I'm pretty slow here. I'm the, I'm the only person that can bear crawl faster than these sprints, but I'm bear crawling, going back and forth. I did like five of these, waited a minute, between sets and uh, that was my cardio and, and believe me you're jacking your conditioning up much more doing stuff like this and you are just like walking on a treadmill uh, I do still do some running I'll, I'll go and run three to five miles here's my opinion on running if you're somebody that wants to be the strongest person in the world you know you might as well stay away from it but if if you want to be you know pretty strong as strong as you can be and you run but you have a preference for strength just run and do stuff like that at a comfortable pace don't go over five miles that's what seems to work for me i'll go on run tomorrow night you know nine minute miles that's comfortable for me and i go to sleep i wake up the next morning and i don't feel like beat up but when i was trying to run faster uh in the seven range i noticed that i was a little bit depleted when i tried to lift weights so basically you know you can't be competitive at both you can kind of compete with yourself, but you got to put an emphasis on one or the other. So I like doing this conditioning stuff, maybe a little distance running once once or twice a week, but at a pace where I can hold a conversation. I mean, if, you're, if your heart rate's revving and uh, you're constantly going for those, you know, for me it would be like a seven-minute mile, but for someone else it might be six minutes. Yeah, you're tapping into that ATP and uh, – you're not gonna you're not gonna lift the heaviest weights because your body's gonna want to start burning muscle at that point. So, for the, for the distance cardio, keep it under five miles at a pace you can hold a conversation at, and definitely add some conditioning drills, jump rope stuff like this, running sprints, prowler, all good stuff. I'll catch you later.